Hey, good morning to you. Yet again, it was one of those family genealogy tests that led to success in solving this crime. It all started when the victim's bones, DNA inside of them, matched DNA given by the victim's mother. It took 40 years, but today we have a perfect match. When they got my DNA, of course, it was a perfect match. The shock is still very real and very raw for Donna Hurley. When you don't have any answers, you your mind always runs somewhere. Donna's daughter, Lori Ann Rospotnik, ran away from home back in 1983. Two years later, Como's cameras captured this, the discovery of two sets of bones found in Auburn. One of those victims was coded as Bones 17. In the decades that followed, there would be no telling as to who Bones 17 actually was. Yet this week, King County detectives paid Donna an unexpected visit. They thought might be my daughter, and I just kind of gave them a real startled look. What exactly happened to this 15-year-old still unknown Yet at some point, detectives say she came into contact with Gary Ridgway, the Green River Killer. During his trial, Ridgway admitted to dumping bodies in the location where Lori was found. Como's Keith Eldridge reported from that same spot on the day Lori's bones were discovered. It is just 250 yards from where the skull of a Green River victim was found. It was just two years ago on this very spot. 38 years later comes closure for Lori's family. What I would like to do is bury Lori in her favorite spot. And that was her dad's right shoulder. And her dad is buried in Seattle. We should mention that Gary Ridgway was convicted on 49 counts of murder back in 2003. One of the people he was convicted of killing was Bones 17. Ridgway is now in the Walla Walla State Penitentiary. Coming to you from Seattle this morning, Ryan Sims, Como News.